There. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm going to put it on a normal area of the cycle. Oh, it's not coming on at all. Oh, the door switch is not hooked up. That, I'm not, that's probably 110 volts. Did I bring, yeah, I brought my meter out here. Let's see. I want to see what it is before I start messing, messing, messing around. Okay. I, it's going to be, I don't know if I can do this here. Looks like it's showing 23 volts. <laughs> it's got something on it. And it's AC. That would hurt. Uh, I think what I... I was thinking about grabbing you know, my, my, uh, vice, my my pliers and my needle nose have rubber handles. but And I grab them and squeeze it together. But I think I'll go be a good boy and go get a jump of wire. <laughs> Where is my jumper wire? So I'm gonna unplug it until I get ready to do that again. I have I think I might have a jumper wire over here. I'll look and see. I got some, I, my, all my jumper wires, I took them in the house. But I thought I might have another one still out here. Uh, I mean, I took four of them in the house. Don't look like I do. Uh, oh, wait. I'm not actually really looking in the right place for them. There we go. That one should have one. Yes or no? There's one. It doesn't have insulation on the clip. Oh, here we go. I think that might work. We'll see. Okay. I've got I've got one that actually has spade male spade connectors in it, and those are females. Well, it's unplugged now. I think they're too big to go in it. Yeah, way too big. Okay, but this... Actually, I think it'd be better to leave it like that. Yeah. yeah. Didn't want to get zapped if there was something left in a cap. It is unplugged. Of course, I wouldn't get... Well, it hurts because I had... I won't go into that, but just... Fit, what was it? 8 or 15? Yeah, but 8 volts... Five volts the AC hurts. It scares the living daylights out of you because I got it. I got it from a light fixture last time I was working on some stuff. It had the, well, I guess I'll say, it had the, uh, we don't have ground here. You know, we just have two wires, and our house is wired with two wire system. And uh, it had the uh, neutral connected to the ground lug on the light fixture. And uh, it, 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 but it only it only sent five volts, <laughs> but it hurt. <laughs> Every time you touch the light fixture, it just zap you. Okay, that's plugged in now, and uh, timer still got time on it. Heating up. Saw the smoke. I don't know if you could see that, but I didn't wait for it to get red because it might get red and overheat it before I could get it off. Uh, being uh, without the fan running across, you know, 
pulling air through there. I don't know, and I'm not going to take a chance. Uh, okay, so the heating circuit works. Cool. Get that jumper off of there before. Forget. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just the only reason I was kind of this one doesn't have it. All my good jumpers have in the house, you know, they have insulations on both ends, and that one didn't. And I was like, well, <clears throat> made me a little bit more cautious. So, uh, oh, I'm starting now. I always want to see, oh, so what's in that end of the toolbox, you know? I don't remember. Well, I'm in the middle of doing other stuff right now, so don't distract me. Okay, so. <laughs> that is, um. Uh, very good news. Unplug for safety. Oh yeah. But when I get back, eating. I mean that would work, but I really am a bit leery of that. I got 99 more of those connectors as long as well. There's enough wire there that I should be able to do that. I did the other ones, and of course I did get them quite. Well, it really needed to be cut back that far, really. That's that's past the uh, you know the damage to the insulation. Okay, so ah, uh, all right. So uh, I can still see it was burning that uh, you know like the oil they'd put on on stuff like that during manufacturing, keep it from rust. I don't think. Uh, it's burnt. It started smoking that off of there right quick. And that's how I knew it was heating up. And it stinks. And it still stinks. Okay, so uh, I really don't want that. Yeah, I'm, first thing I'll do is open that up and hit that. So I was trying to say, oh, it's taking up a lot of room. But no, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, when I come back, I think I will. I will. Uh, Hey, looky there. He has a head. has a face. Alright, so when I come back, I will, uh... I can't think. When I come back, I'm going ahead and replace that spade connector with a new one. Make sure the rest... I think the rest of them are fine. And, uh... Or that female for the spade connector. And, uh... Then I'll put the trailer, the baby trailer hitch ball on the drum. And, uh, well, I don't want to mount the drum in there. I'll do that, but I won't mount the drum in there yet because I need to. Oh, yeah, I think I can. Well, I mean, you can put it in there, but it won't be mounted until you put the door on it and it helps, it finishes the hold up job on the drum. But I can put it in there, put the belt on it. And then the last thing I'll do is put that whole new felt kit in there and it's got glue that has to dry. And hopefully I can also put that glue on that so that by tomorrow this thing will be usable. Okay. Yeah, after I eat, hopefully I'll get some energy and be able to finish this today. I really want to. Uh, now that I'm gone after it, you know I want to finish it. I'm having so much trouble with feeling bad and not having to get. I didn't. Yesterday I missed the whole day that I could have been working on it, or night really, but uh, I felt too bad to come out and do it. I never know from day to day, you know, what I'll be able to do. So when I can do something, I usually just keep going until I wear out. Okay, I'm just setting all my tools up there so they won't be in my pocket. What's this? The microphone. Okay. And my field is here. I better get that out. Oh. I'm forgetting. I I should have said, okay, we'll see you later, and turned off the camera. All right, uh, yep, 
Okay, we'll see you later. I'm going to turn on.